This is a short reference video on passing data to a template. So I've set myself up with three different routes for three different examples. This one is slash simple and it's going to go to simple.html. All I've got is two variables, first name and last name, which I've assigned values to. And when I uh, open the render the template, simple.html, I'm going to pass it my first name variable and in the template it will be known as f name. And I'm going to pass it the last name variable in the template. It will be known as L name. Quick look at what that looks like here. So I've got F name and L name as um, at what comes through. So if I just have a look at this and go to simple. Hello, Mr. Smith, as you might expect, F name, L name. Then I've done a list, a list of cheeses and I am passing that list to list.html when I put slash list on the end of my route and I'm going, it's going to be known in the template as cheese list um, and I'm passing it cheeses. Just, uh, just one minor point is that this would probably be the more normal way to do it because otherwise you get confused about your naming of things. Um, I just wanted for demonstration purposes to um, just talk about what's on each side of this assignment. So the cheese list is what we see in the template and cheeses is, is this list here. Let's go and have a look at what that does. So in list, you can see here, I've got a little bit of logic. I've got a for loop for cheese in cheese list. That seems like Python. It is Python. Um, it's slightly different from Python though. There's not a colon on the end and I've got an end for and presumably that's because the... Um, the indentation can't be trusted in an HTML file. And it's the same with ifs. You have to have if and end if. We'll see another one of those another time. So for cheese in cheese list, and then it just outputs that cheese. Let's just check that that works as expected. So list. Awesome. So last one, an object. I've got a class here, class student with three properties, L name, F name, and gender. I've also put in a method, gender as word, which does a, it turns M to male and F to female. And uh, earlier in the app, I had made a student object from the student class, instantiated an object. So here's my slash object example, and it renders the object.html and it passes this object and in this case I have done student equals student so the this student here is this student and that's what we're going to be referring to in the template let's look at the template so um, no surprises student.f name student.l name are referring to those properties and you can see student.gender as word i am calling that method and it's that returns that value of male and female and let's just check it does what we hope it would do it does so that's passing data to a template